good afternoon everyone hope you're well just checking in from thailand wanted to discuss just a couple of few things on this youtube video starting from the trades that i've placed today okay it's not massive money 270 quid i've earned today but it's been little to no stress okay when i'm trading with my usual capital sort of 70 to 80 grand per position scalping position normally half or a third of that for my swing trades there is an element of stress there i'm not gonna lie doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank when you're using that sort of capital it, it, it's very much real and your emotions whilst you're headstrong and you're managing risk um it's difficult you know if i went out and bought a property for eighty thousand pound i'd want to know how much i could sell it for how long it's going to take to flip etc so 270 pounds whilst it's not a lot of money uh, it is in thailand and like i say i've been living here for probably a thousand baht a day which is roughly 25 quid 20 to 25 quid so in essence that's 10 days worth of living okay so we'll bring it back and discuss the the little villa that i'm staying in it's about 800 pound a month that includes all my bills and wi-fi aircon everything there's no added bills on that no council tax no hidden extras um which is nice and then i swapped my car for a motorbike because it's a million degrees and we're coming into the summer now even though it's always 30 degrees in uh, in thailand so um i've got that for about 200 quid for the month and the place that i've hired it from i actually get a little bit of discount from the um the calf which is quite bizarre, 10%. So what I said to the guy was, this is really clever on my behalf, and this is just me being a bit of an entrepreneur and thinking outside the box. I said to him, I'll always come here for my breakfast, dinner, tea, uh, but bill me at the end of the month, okay? So he's got a big deposit for the bike, so he knows I'm, I'm obviously going to bring it back, the bike, and get my deposit. If I didn't, you know, he'd keep the deposit, uh, I suppose, essentially be out of pocket with the, the food he's being given me. But by doing that, my money's making me money. So that £270 there, um, if I do that several times, it's 1400 quid for the month, and I've essentially lived here for free or break even. That's just that one given day, for example, today. So you, you, over in England and that Western sort of lifestyle, when I had the M3 and so on and so forth, you are needing to make big money, and there is pressure on you. Inflation, interest rates, what are the Fed going to do this week? So scaling back, I've enjoyed it. I went to the gym. I did what I needed to do in the gym. Uh, and like I say, I'm going to break down some of the costs on here. So you can see that it, it, it is achievable living a lifestyle out here. Okay, the first time that I came out, I'd seen all the boys from Dubai. My mates lived here for a number of years. My mate came from uh, London, etc. Um, and we went a little bit crazy. But as you can see, I've got in slightly better shape. I'm by no means a Marvel character, but um, it's been an eye opener coming here for this uh, duration of time and having a lot of support on social media. I'm very, very surprised that whilst I've got a reasonable large following, how many people have wished me success and they like to see that I'm a character and I can earn money. You know, one minute we're earning thousands of pounds per trade and then on the next trade we're earning a few hundred quid. Um, but they're all little wins. You know, there's no real big losses on the table where I'm like, bloody hell, I've half blown an account and we've got a drama. So yeah, just um, sort of reflecting on my time in Thailand. It's coming to an end. I've got another week or so. I'm going to go back for Christmas, make some plans for, for next year. Uh, and, and continue that positivity, that personal growth, that business growth, and see where the stock market wants to take us. You know, is this rally going to continue? I did point it out at the back end of November within my chat room that there could possibly be a bit of a divergence and uh, we could see a bit of a bottom in the market. Did I expect such of a, uh, a rally? No. And, uh, I wish I'd have uh, placed a smaller swing position, but I was traveling. And I didn't want that added stress to what was already always going to be a bit of a stressful trip in terms of getting an apartment sorted and, and I suppose living here and walking away from England uh, for a couple of months. So, um, yeah, in hindsight, I should have placed a swing trade and seen 
what should have happened, but I didn't. Um, equally, these little trades that I've placed of late, i.e. today and, and last night, um, just following that momentum, you know, was I a little bit too late? The entry wasn't perfect, but because it was such, such a small position size, I had quite a large stop loss. So it was a bit more of a fun trade, you know, nice to wake up to £100 or so, which again, I know it's not a lot of money, but it's three or four days worth of living over here in Thailand. So it's, uh, it's just, just bringing a little bit of clarity to my life here in Thailand.